Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button because that way you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. So for today's video, where do I even begin? <laughs> I'm going to be doing a makeup challenge. Now, this makeup challenge, as you guys can tell by the title, is called the Random Numbers Pick My Eyeshadow Challenge. Now you're probably wondering what that even means. As you guys can see, I have a eyeshadow palette with me today. I decided to use the Morphe James Charles palette because it contains literally every single color you can think of. So it's the perfect palette for this challenge. I just realized I didn't even explain what the challenge was. Okay, so basically this palette, as you guys can see, has 39 shades. And I'm gonna be having a random number generator here on my phone. It literally picks a number from one through 39. So basically I have no idea how this is gonna go because my phone is gonna pick a number from 1 through 39 and whatever that number is I have to count here on the palette and pick that shadow so for instance if my phone picks number five I'm gonna pick one two three four five I'm gonna pick this shade right here you guys will see throughout this video how it works <laughs> so yeah I already have my face done because when don't I look crazy in the beginning of my videos so yeah, so without further ado, let's just get this video started. And hopefully I get decent colors that go along with each other because this can either go really, really bad or really, really good. <laughs> So time to the random number generator. So since this palette has 39 shades, I'm gonna put it to pick a number between one and 39. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna be picking five shades because I feel like that's a good amount. Cause I need an eyelid shade, a crease shade, transition shade, an outer corner shade, and maybe like an inner corner shade. I don't know, we'll see. Guys, I am so scared. <laughs> So let's see what my phone picks. All you have to do is shake it. This is a perfect way of like getting out of your comfort zone. So let's see what number is first. 18, okay, let's see. So this is 16, 17, 18. Not bad, okay, that's a perfect like golden -y shade. Now let's click randomize again. Okay, three. It's literally almost the same exact shade. So I clicked randomize and got the number five. Let's see what that shade is. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we got this a bright orangey red shade. Let's click randomize. We got 24. So this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hmm. So we have one, two, three, four. We need one more shade. Hopefully it's a darker type of shade that you work into your outer corner. Now let's click randomize one more time. 22, okay, let's see. Since this was 24, I believe, right? 23, oh, we almost got that black shade. We got this a dark brown shade, okay. So basically the shades we got were, I even forgot already. Okay, so we have shade one, two, three, four and five. I'm so nervous because I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with that bright yellow shade and work with this at our crease. Yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna work out. I'm basically using this as my transition shade because we didn't really get like a nice warm transition shade. So we're gonna have to work with what we got. Okay, I'm gonna use a more fluffy brush to blend out the harsh edges. Next, I'm gonna be using that bright orange shade. This is not the right brush. I'm probably, I'm think, I'm, go, I'm I can't even speak, wow. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up doing a halo eye because I want the yellow to peek through the outer edges. This is basically looking like a hot Cheetos look. Now this is looking quite interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go back and use a little bit more of that yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of concealer to carve out this halo eye. Now that the crease is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of that shimmery shade. I wasn't 
expecting this to look a little bit more golden -y. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of that dark brown to darken things up a bit and give more definition. Look at that, it definitely gave us so much definition. I'm so glad this shade was picked. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and use the very last final shade, which is the shimmery goldeny color, and then apply that to my inner corners. I actually could have just used it as an eyelid shade again, but I just wanted to give my eye a little bit more of a pop. This inner corner shade is so beautiful. I totally forgot about my lower lash line, so let's do that right now. I'm first gonna be taking that red shade. And then to define it even more, I'm gonna take that dark shade once again and just apply that closer to my lash line. Okay, I think we're done with the eyes. Now I'm just gonna finish up, apply some mascara, and I'll show you guys the finished product. So this is basically the final product and how everything came out. It's actually very summer appropriate now that I think about it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this makeup challenge. Makeup challenges is something that I want to do more often in my channel. So let me know any challenges down below that you guys want me to do. I ended up really liking this challenge because it basically gets you out of your comfort zone. Honestly, I had no idea how this was going to work out. But somehow I worked with every single shade I had. Wait, did I use every single shade? One two, three, four, five, okay. I had to make sure I used every single shade because then that would have been a complete fail. So yeah, if you guys ended up liking this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would gladly appreciate it. And with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.